Hey y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hop Love. It is still craft day and it is probably the first quote unquote normal day I've had in almost three weeks, folks. I got to eat something normal for lunch because it arrived in my Walmart order today. I also got protein bars, which are really good for my illness and I haven't had any in three weeks. Oh my goodness, it feels like Christmas around here. It really does. Uh, the one way it's abnormal is that I have to share with you my haul because while normally I would have saved it for two or three days from now, the new rules in New York are that when you get a package, you have to unpackage it right away and then take the box outside. So um, that's why I'm on here sharing it with you because it's unpacked and I have to put it away. I can't just have it sitting around here. But that, I mean, regardless of that, it still feels like a nice normal day. Like I'm crafting, I had time to check texts from friends. I even had time to chat with some friends on text. I'll do some more of that this afternoon. Um, I still have some work to do today too in between, but it just feels like a much more normal day than I've had in weeks. So what a luxury. It's amazing what you take for granted in your life until it's gone. Today just feels like a gift, a gift. So before I do the haul video with you, um, I just want to mention that one of the things I learned today, because I've been kind of off grid for a couple of days because of all the work pressures, is that Sheila Country Girl First has taken down her channel. And I cannot believe that. Uh, folks, I for one will sorely and sadly miss Sheila. I think that um, she's not old enough to be my grandma. We're about the same age, I think, actually. It's just if I had grown up with a grandma, I would have wanted it to be her. I loved her stories. I loved her stories and I looked forward to them every time. And there's just something about her, something about her uh, that is special. And I just, I know that in my soul. And so I'm going to sorely miss you, Sheila. I know you're still going to watch. I heard that from somebody who I know I can trust. And, but to me, it's not the same. It won't be the same without your stories. It won't be the same without your attitude. And, you know, I remember the first time you posted something on my channel and you said, you know, girly, I knew that you wouldn't judge a country girl. And I was like, what? And I had a good laugh over that and I thought, oh no, it's the opposite. It's your values I'm attracted to, actually, Sheila. But you figured that out quickly. And um, I don't want to lose your channel. I'm sorry, I just don't. Losing your channel will be like losing one of the rays of sunshine I have in my life. So I don't know what really caused you to take down your channel or if it's a who caused you to take down your channel. But I'm going to say this. I think that this whole community will suffer without you. I think you are an uplifting soul. I think you are a person who was likely put on this planet to bring a lot of goodness to the world. And we need more of that now, not less. So I'm hoping that whatever this person or thing that happened um, can be reversed. I'm hoping that the goodness from the rest of us and the love from the rest of us is enough to not just protect you, but make you feel confident enough to come back. And I know it's easy to say, right? I know. I know it is. Because, you know, you have to think to yourself, is it even worth it? I'm sure that's what you're asking yourself. Just know that you touch my life every day. You really do. And every time I watch one of your videos, I smile. And every time you tell me a story, I'm so happy. The writer in me is happy, which is the academic part. And then the person, Alicia, is happy. So Sheila, I know you're going to watch, so I hope you also hear. There are many of us on here who want you very badly to continue what you're doing. And uh, if we can do anything at all to help you come back, well, I'm offering my help. That's what I'm doing. I'm offering up my help. And I'm sure there are many other people on this channel who will be too. All right, y'all. Having said that, and hi to Sheila, let me move on and share with you my little tiny haul that is still very exciting to me um all right so let's start with joanne's because it's the it's the larger part or maybe we should start with walmart because it's, it's so small so this is the craft starch i was telling you about they finally got it back i had it on order i told you but it'd be out of stock and they didn't restock it because so not important in a time of coronavirus right like who's starching shirts in the you know in the middle of a pandemic but they did get it back in stock and look it even says right on the label oh can you see good for crafts so when you buy it like this in this big tub it's like under three dollars and while you wouldn't want to use like 
I like to thicken up some of my paper and my flowers when I'm making them. And so I use triple thick for that. But sometimes you don't want to thicken up Prima too much or a Minte because they're already so thick. So when you're doing the scrunching part of the, of the flowers, you know, like when you wet it and scrunch it, adding a little of this starch will give it a bit extra texture and thickness without making it so thick, like triple thick. So that's why, and this will last me like a whole year. This is a huge amount for under $3. So that came from Walmart. All right, and then, sorry, I should have been more organized. I was more organized and then I had lunch. And then when I have lunch, I get distracted. Okay, so the next thing from Walmart were these really adorable bags that were $2.96. And you all know that I hauled that salon paper from Echo Park. And look how perfectly these match. But these are cuter than I thought they would be. And you get eight of these for under $3. I kind of wish I'd ordered two in case they sell out of these. Because I think they're beautiful. Um, yeah, they're uh, they're thin plastic um, loop bags. I guess they're like kids party loop bags, but I think they're awesome. And the reason why I wanted these is because, as you all know, I'm limited to envelope mailing right now. But I still want to put some kind of packaging. Like the thing I just mailed to Soleil is... I just mailed her something and there's no packaging, no wrapping because I couldn't. So I, I came up with this as an idea to get around that because you know I don't like to send things without packaging. So the, the problem with being limited to an envelope is that I only have so much room. So I thought these were perfect. All right, so I got those and that was it from Walmart. That was it. All right, now we go on to Joanne's. I got something called Baby Rick Rack, which is like the same Rick Rack most of you all haul, but you see how much smaller it is? So I like these for uh, mini tags and mini tag flips. So I got it in yellow and I got it in gold. Um, and the reason I wanted the yellow was for that New My Mind's Eye collection because I don't have any yellow Rick Rack at all. So that was good. Um, this was a fantastic deal. This was the DCWV Die Cuts with a View, otherwise known as Die Cuts with a View. Um, they're gold foil paper stack and this has 40 sheets in it 40 yeah and it was very inexpensive um i'm so bad there's the mandela page and the reason i didn't get the 12 by 12 which was also inexpensive there's the handwriting page all in gold foil is that it didn't have the handwriting or one of the other pages that i really liked there's the stripe so it had different patterning so i chose to get the six by six i told y'all i used to only like six by sixes then I only liked 12 by 12s because of my bigger projects. And now I like to have a blend um, because I use my six by sixes for small albums and I use it for my smaller, like for a lot of my die cutting. And I use my 12 by 12s for my larger projects. So I like to have both. Um, I know some people only like one or the other. So I really love this. So you get 40 sheets of this with gold foil. So I got one of those and then I got two other die cuts with a view. I really like their paper. I, I know it's owned by American Crafts. I really like their paper. I got the rose gold stack. This was, now I used to be able to get this at like Tuesday morning for $2.50, but I don't have a Tuesday morning here. So it's kind of pricey to order online normally. It's normally six bucks, but I paid like three. Um, so this was really a good deal. I have beautiful thick rose gold cardstock that I use, but I don't have any like this in rose gold glitter. And then this pad also comes with that amazing embossing page. Let me show you. The one that Carmen uses a lot. Hey, Carmen. Like this one. I, sorry, I don't know what just flew around my nose, but it made my nose all of a sudden be like, remember like Tabitha with the twinkle twinkle? Yeah, so this page. So it's just a bunch of different. It also has the holographic rose gold page, which I love. Look how pretty that is. So I got this one and I also got it in the gold. And again, I have gold foil paper, but I, I don't like the chunky page so much. It's a little bit much. Look at that. It's a little much. Maybe if I were doing like a princess crown or something, but it's a bit much. But I do, again, like the gold holographic page. And I really like the gold foiled page, the, the texture page. And um, I like the, the muted gold glitter page. So these were a really great deal. So I, I picked those up. And I got another thing from there, which was I got these stickers that say, hello, stay magical, hey, good looking, hip, hip, hooray, I believe in unicorns and good things are coming. 
So this is the groovy style thickers, and I think they're really cool. And they actually match in aesthetics several of the collections I currently have in my stash, and that's why I got these. Um, also, I needed a unicorn thing for something. But mostly I got it because aesthetically it matches more than one of my current collections. So that was a good piece. And then the other thing I got is from a place called Brooklyn Battery. And Paper Milkshake's gonna laugh. Okay, so Brooklyn Battery is an old school candy store. It's like one of, it's really famous in New York. And this is a pack of 24 in its original like vintage packaging to me. Oh look, exactly the way it was when it first came out. Still popping after 40 years. So this is the retro pack from the 1970s. And I ordered 24 of these. And the reason I did that is because I'm limited to envelopes, I can't really send any Easter candy to anybody. Normally I send Easter chocolates and bunnies and all sorts of fun things. I even had already bought the eggs, the iridescent eggs to fill, but I can't mail them out. So I was trying to think in my mind, like what can I use? And then I remembered that Tennille always puts a Pop Rock package in her tag flips and in her flat mails. And I thought, I'm sorry, Tennille, I'm stealing it. I'm, I'm scrap lifting it because then I can put this in my flat mails that I can get out in my envelopes. So definitely guys, I scrap lifted this from Tennille, but I went with the vintage retro ones because I wanted it to be slightly different. And the vintage retro will match that new mind, my mind's eye collection too when I send it, send out some stuff made with that. So that's really it. I told you not a very big or exciting haul those are the three uh, walmart joann's oh an alley i forgot to share with you the alley die see almost forgot one i'm glad this one came notice i have not received any of my other easter dies but i really am glad the polaroid came and notice not only does it come with a regular polaroid it comes with the mini for the embellishments so i'm super excited about this die plus it matches one of the projects that i worked on this week so it, it's a coordinating piece to that. So I'm going to want to put that with pair with the, the project I did, which you will be seeing this week. And that's really it, folks. I'm going to spend the rest of my day doing a little bit of work, doing a lot of crafting, a tiny bit of cleaning, and catching up with friends. So today is an excellent day. It is beautiful out. I'm still waiting on a word from my doctor if I'm allowed to go outside for a walk. Cuomo says yes if you're wearing a mask and you keep your distance, but I want her to confirm that. It's just, it's not good for my disease to be this um, immobile. It's important for me to be walking around. So I'm trying to get permission. We'll see what she says. All right, y'all. Take very good care, and I'll be back on later today with some other shares. Bye for now.